like I drank that shit. Ugh. Oh, you get that like it's all over your tongue and like yeah, it just like uh, builds yeah. up in the the sucker huffer puffer. Sucker hucker puffer. <laughs> I think that's a uh, mythical creature in Harry Potter. Sucker huffer puffer. That's a uh, <laughs> that's the founder of Hufflepuff. That was that's what Helga Hufflepuff named her dildo. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say that was a, that was a a, a wizard STD. Ah, <laughs> uh, sucker huffer puffer. That's the the trilogy. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, welcome back, everyone. The 30th episode of the Poor Choices Show. I'm your host, Chris. Here's my co-host, David. And to Granger Smith, Mike Piazza, Damon Wayans, Beyonce, and Hank Basket. Happy birthday. Let's make some poor choices. The fridge keeps them pretty cold. That's not warm. <laughs> Fuck. Subscribe. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I didn't say it. I just mouthed it. Did you see that? I did see that. I like let you say it and I went. <laughs> well, when the six people that watch it next week, they'll go, oh, he didn't actually say it. <laughs> hey, man, your audio cut out at that, uh, <laughs> that part. <laughs> hey, man, I was just watching your video and, uh, yeah. You're also like, no, uh. <laughs> so yeah, so the the point I was trying to make there was with Hank Basket. Yeah, and remind me who that person is again. Uh precisely because he was one of those forgotten NFL players for the Eagles during the Reggie Brown, Todd Pinkston. You knew who he was when I said him then. <sighs> I'll pull up the clip. You go, <laughs> Hank Basket. <laughs> <laughs> did i sound like that too <laughs> uh yeah, well it's the best Hank i could do with a basket. short notice it was something i think it was i've my hat's on backwards so if i put my head back i'll knock it off but you did one of those like lean backs <laughs> with the claps i'm pretty maybe sure th- you definitely knew of, who uh, it was but yeah. that that whole receiving cord that donovan had was uh was todd, todd pinkston, pinkston. reggie reggie brown hank basket and uh, that racist Hank basket and that ra- Carol Carol Baskins <laughs> Carol Baskins <laughs> fuck that bitch. I still never saw that husband? series. Or did I she have no feed- idea, man. I never uh, saw oh, a single. God damn it! Mm-hmm. Need to watch it so we can talk about it. Well, speaking of people and stuff you forgot about and like died and all that, if I asked you how Steve McNair McNair died, would you remember how he died? Uh, I want to say like his wife stabbed him or something, right? So, yeah, he was murdered, and there's a new Netflix documentary, like the Steve McNair, you know, deep dive, true story, life, whatever they they want to call it. But just when I I saw it and like, the you know, they played like that little clip, like in the background when it's like previewing whatever you're like hovered over on Netflix. Yeah. It was like looking into Steve McNair's murder. And I was like, wait, he was murdered. I just, remember my mind, I just don't remember. I was like, ah, he, he, in my mind, like he got sick or something or like it's in a car crash. So I'm like, no, no, that dude, he died. Hmm. He got shot. I think he got shot. shot okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember how uh, Chris Henry died? <sighs> the Bengals no. receiver. Mm-mm. I think he fell out of the back of a pickup truck that his wife was driving or something like that. Like she was, I think like speeding away and he was like chasing after her and like, j- like jumped on the back and I don't know if he got in or, or like was on the bumper and like fell off. Uh, yeah. I don't know. What? I'll have to look that one up. We'll let the six viewers look that up and let us know. But yeah, he definitely fell out of a truck or fell off a truck, but uh, yeah. So that's, that's that. Um, very funny that, <laughs> that you bring that up because uh, I have here, <laughs> 11 of the most bizarre and creepy deaths. Bizarre and creepy deaths. Okay. Bizarre slash creepy. Yeah. So they're kind of, I'll, I'll just read them to you. I don't think you will. I was going to say any context any. to it or they're all just kind of uh, bizarre no, and creepy. I, just, I, I heard something and it was just, just like weird ways or like ironic ways. Um, so I have, uh, well, <laughs> I should have learned how to, how to say these fucking names. Uh Oh, welcome to my life. I have, uh, <laughs> I have ju- it's, J O A O. So I guess I'll go with uh Jojo. We have Joe Joao Maria de Souza from Brazil was killed in 2013 when a cow fell through his roof and crushed him when he slept. 
guess he should have moved over. A uh, cow fell through his roof. Yeah, so I told that to Kayla, and she was like, go so on. It was either like, I don't. walking on the roof or got dropped from somewhere. My thought was it was either like a tornado or something like that, <laughs> or maybe he like lived in like a barn, and there was like a loft like animals on top. Yeah, and maybe he slept underneath or something. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't get any more context, so let your imagination run wild. What on earth? Okay. Uh, the next one I have is Mayor Meyer was only doing her town of Betterton in Maryland a service when checking the town's sewage tanks. Unfortunately, she fell in and drowned in 15 feet of human waste. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, especially not, Marylanders. Not only waste. to die by drowning, like I think that's one of the worst but to yeah, do it awful. in 15 feet of woof, woof. So would you rather would you rather drown or burn to death? Mm, whichever one's quicker. They're both horrible. Well, I think from what I've heard is when you drown, like you don't drown, you like pass out from not being able to breathe, and then that's when the water gets into you. True. So I that would, might be that might be the answer. Yeah, it's gonna hurt for so long burning. Yeah, and people have been on fire for like a while and they still survive. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. Uh huh. Because <laughs> then you're fucked. Yeah, because that way, if you don't die, like you're not going to have any physical ailments from drowning. Um, right? You know, I don't like know. if you, yeah. if you're on fire for like 20 minutes, you're like, you're not going to be able to be fucking touched ever again. It could affect your brain if you almost drown, though, right? Like it could, like, you could come out and just be. A vegetable or in a coma forever. Or... Yeah, that's true. Granted, we literally have a, a podcast centered around us drinking beer, which I don't think is too good for our brain either. Yeah, or livers, but... Yeah, well, we, we don't need those. Oh, that's a spleen you don't need? Ye yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, fuck. No, is it a Anyways. Gall gallbladder? No, you need a uh, gallbladder. No, you, get the, you can get that removed. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tour fields. Uh, the next one is a, a Canadian lawyer died while trying to prove that the glass in the windows of a 24th floor office were unbreakable by throwing himself into it. He was right. It didn't break, but it suddenly popped out of its frame and the he whole plunged pain. to his death. Like, how fuck? Like, Watch, that dude this, didn't this win that break. case. Yeah, it didn't. I mean, he's, I'm sure once it hit the ground, but. Yeah, it had to shatter when it hit the ground, but still, that's. um Yeah. I don't know what I like if you're standing there watching that and you're just like, yep. Hmm. Okay. Or do you go like, oh my God, and run towards the window thinking you have some sort of shot to save him. And then you're just looking down as he's like screaming and you're like, I uh, think, yeah, I think instinctively you probably do that. Like that, like quick half step forward. And then you realize like, oh, what the fuck am I going to do? Dive after him. Yeah. And then you gone. just like slowly walk up and go, oh, <laughs> oh. that's, that's what I would guess. Oh, it did break. <laughs> uh, the next one, this is, it's, I hate to say how, like, someone's demise is hilarious, but it's kind of hilarious. So the, okay. the owner of the company that makes Segways spent years promoting the safety of the product. Ironically, he died after accidentally driving a Segway off a cliff. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but. <laughs> it's like, thank you. Now, now I feel it's, a little it's... better about saying it's hilarious. Yeah. He must have been doing some kind of like what, like off road testing or something. Because when I picture a seg Segway, it's like someone like Paul Blart. Know, it's like Paul Blart or like your family did it all together, and you have to wear the same helmets, and you're like just then like oh a little. God, you got those fucking Disney shirts on, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, it's summer 2022. And you got to stay in the lane. You can't go outside the, the cones. Is that a thing? There's like a track. I don't know. It sounds right though. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Well, in 1923, well-known jockey Frank Hayes won a race at Belmont Park in New York while dead. The poor bloke suffered a heart attack mid-race, but his body managed to stay on the saddle, crossing the finish line and claiming Damn. victory. And then it says, why the long face? <laughs> okay. Give the guy a break. <laughs> That's a... Uh, huh. Okay. Why does everyone want to freaking... Yeah, as soon as, I, as soon as I sit down. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Is it someone's birthday? Did I miss no. it? No, no, no. The next one is uh, Robert Williams is the first human in history to be killed by a robot. This is no joke. The robot hit him and he was out like a light. We'll cut that. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> let's, 
<laughs> we both did like the head tilt like yeah like what the okay and, and it actually it actually says the robot him 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 same same that's how, that's how they say uh gay in the middle east they go same same <laughs> fun fact if you same, ever same. go if you ever go overseas uh the next one um a, a man who was recorded to have the longest beard in the world in the 1500s died after tripping over his long locks while running away from a fire so what was on fire that if he tripped and fell he was oh, i'm done Probably his beard yeah like i, I don't know his house uh, yeah I'm just picturing yeah, like like that like oh I fell and you look behind you and the fire's still like thirty feet away and you're like oh I'll get up. It also doesn't say how he died. Oh, he could have like landed and like broken his hip and then died of like you know an infection and yeah uh-huh. maybe maybe a cubicle was on fire and he ran towards the window and hit in the, the 1500s or it, he was in a cubicle. Uh, he's no <laughs> a limestoneicle. I don't know limestoneicle. Uh, okay, a few more. You can name a beer that limestoneical. Yeah, it could be like a like a, a creamsicle, but like lime instead of orange. Lime. Okay, I'm not mad at it. We're on to something here. Okay. Uh, you ever felt like you were dying of laughter? Well, for one Greek philosopher, he literally was. It's said he died while in fits of laughter after watching a donkey trying to eat figs. <laughs> that sounds pretty. I'd, I'd probably giggle at that too. Yeah. But dying from it? How do you think that had? Do you just like laugh so hard that like you're like like your airway gets blocked? Like you it know could, when you laugh so hard you like cough, but yeah, couldn't. And he's like, he just couldn't catch yeah. his breath, and then he passed or out. Maybe he was like, yeah, or like eating something. And well, you know. you witnessed my biggest laughing fiasco, whatever you want to call it, last Ever? three like three days. Uh, yeah, that uh, <laughs> that was dude. I. Was, it's so funny. To this day, I still laugh not at the joke, but at the thought of you laughing at the joke. Even in the car ride home, like it'd just be quiet, and I just start laughing because I started thinking about it again. Do you think um, that you laughed that hard because you were hammered, or not laughed that hard? But do you think it continued? It was a perfect storm. It yeah. was. We were at a theme park, which is Harry Potter related. We, well, we were in Harry Potter. We, we were, were in, in Harry front Potter. of Gringotts. Yeah. yeah, we were right by the um, yeah, um, but right, yeah, right next to the motorcycle. I think right by Hagrid's motorcycle. Yeah. yeah, um, and I think the drinks helped a little bit. But even the next okay. day, when that's what I'm I, saying, do you think it be like the prolonged laughter yeah. was because you had heard it intoxicated? Yeah, and you can maybe post the the meme gif, whatever yeah, you want to call I'll it. Definitely put that on there. But it sent me to my uh, <laughs> to my laughing <laughs> to grave, place, so to speak. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I was done. Uh, should we say it for the? I don't oh, know for the audio, audio listeners. listeners, yeah. So, yeah. Um, anyone who's seen the Goblet of Fire, how aggressive Dumbledore is when he's asking Harry if he put his name in the Goblet of Fire. I think we've all seen that scene if you've seen it and can remember it. And uh, uh, the meme was: uh, "Roses are red. This is." And there weren't any words. It was just a picture of the Shire from Lord of the Rings. And then below it was a picture of Dumbledore grabbing Harry with no words. So you had to kind of piece it together in your brain. Roses are red. This is the Shire. Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? And I lost my shit. Nah, so I think nah, it was that connection of like, I know I what both those pictures are. Me. Act what out? Roses are red. This, this is, is the, the Shire. Shire. Harry, did you put your name in a goblet of fire? <laughs> <laughs> Something along those lines. That, that sounded pretty good. That yeah. sounded pretty good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's 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 finish these up. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay. You'd have one of the other students do it for you? <laughs> That's all I got. Okay. <laughs> all right. And the Emmy goes to British actor Gareth Jones. He died of a heart attack while performing in a live televised play where his character was scripted to have a heart attack. <laughs> That's crazy. Because then you the don't cast, know, like when he didn't yeah, get so up, I guess they were like, what the hell? Okay. Well, it says the cast, the cast just thought he was doing a standout performance and continued performing around. <laughs> man, this day. guy, he's giving it his all. Yeah. He is just going for it. Great. Oh, man. Uh, next we have health fanatic. Wait, no, that'd be, the, Brown. that'd be the Tony, not the Grammy. Did you say grammar or did I? You did. I thought you read it. It says the Emmy. Or Emmy. 
I don't, I don't know. The, I don't know. I got nothing. What's an Emmy? Uh, it's for an actor, right? Yeah, but Broadway and like plays is Tony Awards. Oh, I just, I don't know, dude. It says British actor. It's, oh, I thought you said like when he was on Broadway. It might have been. All right, disregard were, that I whole think... conversation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought you said this guy when he was acting on Broadway or in a play or something like that. It just says British actor Gareth Jones died of a heart attack while performing. Oh, in a live televised play. So I don't know. Anyways. All right. All right. We have health fanatic Basil Brown managed to kill himself by drinking almost four liters of carrot juice every day. Damn. So he uh, carrot poisoning. It just says maybe vegetables aren't that good for you. Oh, I bet he had a really good vision, though. Yeah. Doesn't that give you like orange skin, too? <clears throat> Could be. It's like keratin or something. Isn't that where that comes from? I mean, it gives you death, according to Basil. Yeah, well, poor guy. Well, not according to Basil, but according to whoever. Yeah. All right. And the last one, it says, here's when a joke goes horribly wrong. Greg Austin Gingrich died in the Grand Canyon after pretending to fall to his death. In the middle of the joke, he lost his footing and actually fell. <laughs> yeah, but pretending to die, I don't think that's quite the ha ha joke. Like, ah, oh, you got me. <laughs> you didn't die. Like, come on. That's so. Yeah. Well. It says, well, he did, we so. hope he had the last laugh. So. Ah. Mm. That's that. Touche. That's wow. what I got. So. Those were bizarre and intri- would creepy. Creepy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that would have been a good segue to my Ask Reddit if you want it. Uh, yeah, go for it. So it was uh, the whole carrot thing. Like your parents would tell you like, hey, if you eat a carrot, you'll have carrots are good for your eyesight. Right. Okay. So you'll have what? Good eyes. Like you can okay. see better. That way they get you to eat your vegetables, right? Okay. So what's the weirdest thing that you believed as a child? Mm. I, that I believed. Because I've heard some stuff. Like uh Robert used to tell Megan that if I think it was like if she ate the crust of the bread, it put hair on her chest. <laughs> <laughs> but like I'd I never believed it. Um Maybe like the sitting too close to the TV is bad for your eyes. Like you'll go blind. Yeah. Or uh, they did they also say cross-eyed? There was like a cross-eyed thing too, right? Cross-eyed. I could see your mom like walking behind you like, David, you're going to go blind and just smack in the back of your head. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> um, trying to think. Give me some, give me some inspiration. Um, let's see. I used to think the moon followed me everywhere I went. I genuinely well, hold on. believe. What, what was the... Did you read the actual question? Yeah. What's the weirdest? Uh, my ask Reddit this week is what's the weirdest thing you believed as a child? So uh, Anakin Kiz says that I used to think the moon followed me everywhere I went. I generally I generally believed it was my personal nightlight. Uh, mm-hmm. this okay. Person... So this is this is good because I initially thought like things that we were told that we believed. There's some I'm of those in, in here, too. Now I'm in like my what's some dumb shit that I never asked anyone and I just went for yeah yeah um somebody wrote the bible I mean, okay. fair enough fair enough um when i was a kid my mom explained to me that we all had belly buttons because that's how our moms fed us before we were born so i thought when you got pregnant your belly button opened up and you just put whatever you wanted down there <laughs> like i thought women were just shoving chicken legs in their belly buttons okay. um let's see that if i don't stir the chocolate milk the right number of times someone i love would die Turns out it was just OCD all along. If you eat a seed, a tree will grow inside you. I think the Rugrats taught that all to us. Well, we we were always told the watermelon, right? Watermelon, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what t- uh, Chucky eats in the show. Okay. Um, let's see. When I was about four, my older sister told me that since the population of Japan was so high, Japanese people slept sideways on their beds so they could fit more people on every bed. I believed it until I went to sleep over at 13 and suggested that we sleep Japanese style on the bed so everyone could fit. <laughs> that's so that that goes sort of to the uh, like, did Chinese people really eat on the floor? Because like I always thought that growing up, like they just sit on the floor and they have the rice and um, Japanese will sit on a like a cushion. OK, yeah. Um, this one's pretty good. I thought that drinking and driving meant any, <coughs> any drink, <laughs> which actually goes to one of mine. Now that I think about it is 
you delight. may re- you may remember the commercial growing up. It was um Science and Kirk. Science Kirk and Miles. Yeah, it's now Science Kirk and Miles. But growing up, the slogan was always, "If you have a phone, you have a lawyer." Yeah. Okay. So and, you just <laughs> you thought you thought you had one. <laughs> so um, I, I can't remember the context. I, I wish I knew, but um, I was I said it to my I was young. I was probably elementary school, and I think my brother said something like. You don't even know blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, huh? If you have a phone, you have a lawyer. Something along those lines. I'd have to have to figure it out with mom. But it was very funny. Um, I kind of, I don't know what the extent of my belief was on that, but I think I kind of always thought just like everybody had a lawyer. Like you were like designated because, you know, growing up, you watch all those movies and TV shows and they're like, I want to call my attorney. And I'm like, does everybody just like have one? Right, and I have a phone. Like, how do you have one? <laughs> I know I didn't. I didn't think the phone thing. That was, but I yeah, just assumed like everybody had a lawyer. So okay, how about um, once I was playing with some toys, my mom was talking on the phone to her friend. I guess they were talking about kids growing up and having families someday because my mom puts her hand over the phone and asks me if I wanted kids someday and if I wanted boys or girls. I gave it some thought and said that I wanted one boy and one girl for the longest time after this. I thought that it had been completely decided. Like my mom was just on the phone with whoever you call to place in order for kids. <laughs> and my order had been finalized. Hey, do you want kids, honey? <laughs> yes. Uh, a boy and a girl, please. And then you sit there and you go, okay, okay I'm going to have those. <laughs> they're, on, they're on sale right now. So we're going to go ahead and get those ordered. It's BOGO. Yeah. 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 Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, the rumble strips <clears throat> on the side of highways are for blind drivers. The what on the highway? The rumble strips uh, for blind what? drivers, which is funny because you can't drive if you're blind. Yeah. Um, which goes to the uh, why do drive up ATMs have Braille? Well, I mean, you could be a passenger and then reach and over what, and fucking put in all across and information. Sit in the <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, I did hear one. It was on a it was on a podcast I was listening to, and the guy when he was a kid. Um, his brother had told him that there was buried treasure in their backyard. Um, and the only way to find it is when, when you stare at the sun and then you look away and you see that little like rainbow, like, whoa, I can't see. That's telling you where the treasure's buried and you have to follow it. It's anywhere you fucking look. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> so he said the first his, my, his mom would come outside and be like, what are you doing? He's just like staring at the sun and like blinding <laughs> himself, like <laughs> trying to find this treasure. <laughs> Oh Jesus! It's pretty hysterical, and yeah, that's my that's my ask right. I thought that was a nice little little yeah, segue there with the carrots and the stuff. Mine is uh, not really like a a long term belief, but it reminds me of one time we were in Ocean City on a family vacation, and I had to be oh, I don't know. Jenna might have been super tiny. I was young, and we stayed in this like condo, and it was like kind of like U-shaped, and there was like a pool in the middle. And we always stayed in the same one every year right on the corner. And we were going somewhere or getting re- or just got back from somewhere. And there was like a fire alarm on the outside of each like entrance into each unit. Okay. Yeah. And ours, uh, the glass was broke on ours. And it was me and Justine standing out there next to it. And it was one of those like it has a little metal rod. And you're supposed to use that to break the glass and then pull it. But the metal rod had like a little hook on it. So Justine told me that the fire alarm only went off if you pulled it with the metal piece, like hooked it <laughs> over the, the latch and pulled it down. So I was like, oh, OK. And I just I reached up and, and pulled it and it went off the whole fucking condo complex. Everybody like evacuated into the middle center parking lot and all these fire trucks and police came and grandma was like, we're getting out of here. So she grabbed me and Jenna. And we, we we're getting up, out of here. We walked up the street to Candy Kitchen. So, um, so yeah, that's that's something I believed. I guess is that the uh, the fire alarm only went off if you pulled it with that metal piece. I like I like how Grandma had your back, just like hey. oh yeah, Grandma's dude, Grandma for the win. <laughs> Surprised she took you to Candy Kitchen and not like all right, you guys sit over there and color. Grandma's gonna be at the bar. Ah, she it was like two streets up. She was yeah. probably yeah. Um, all right. Well, my ask Reddit this week is what was ruined because too many people started doing it. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, podcasts. Okay. You yeah, don't, don't think know. they were enhanced? Um, yeah, cause I listened to them, but yeah. um, 
ruined because too many people started doing it. You want some inspiration? Yeah, give me some. So I, I have uh, the LL Bean return policy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was good. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this guy said, my favorite toilet seat at the beach bathroom. Oh, people found out about it, I guess, huh? Sorry, yeah. guy. Uh, we have thrift shopping. We have Rick and Morty, which I never really got into, but I, I did a couple seasons and that's about it. No, it's kind of blown up. Yeah. Um, we have memes. We have Reddit. Mm, yeah. We have Tinder. Yeah. Can you vouch? Yeah, a lot of bots on there. We have uh, Kung Fu Fighting. <laughs> oh, yeah? Too many people, huh? Well, everyone's doing it, right? Everybody was Kung Fu. Oh, yeah, you get, I get you it. Get, yeah, you get <laughs> okay. it. You get it. <laughs> uh, I have Fine Dining and Breathing. Okay. I think he was mostly going for the breathing there. Yep. <laughs> uh, nuclear Weapons. Nice. I mean, I, he, damn it, they ruined it. Yeah. And the last one I have is, uh, this guy said, having sex with my wife. Damn. That's brutal. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> um, what's... Anything you can think of? I feel like maybe golf has gotten more popular. Like amateur golf. Was like it? just people being was out. Was it ruined, though? Because too many people start doing it? Um, it could just be because now I live in Florida and... You know, you can golf all the time, so everyone golfs. So it's always right. like it's just always tea times are always packed. Like there's always people in front of you and behind you. It's very rare that it's like uh, okay, open. So they don't necessarily ruin golf; they ruin the time that you want to the golf. Yeah, the experience. Like we had yeah. several really good times at that course when you lived over here, where it was like we were we could have done whatever we wanted out there. We could have, you know. Yeah. Um, I guess we kind of did. Yeah, for the most part. <laughs> for the most part. Um, I don't know. Do you have anything that comes to mind? Uh, not really. I was kind of relying on you for this one. Um, uh, there was another one that said, uh, having children, 8 billion people is too many. But I don't think there's, is there 8 billion? Yeah, it's up to 8. Uh, and, and I think, have you seen that circle? That's like, it circles, it's like the circle on like the map of the world. And it's just around like a little part of like, it's like India, China, a little bit of like Middle East. It's like this little circle. It's like this circle. 80% lives it's here. Something, or something like that. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Mm -hmm. Sounds familiar. Um, a lot of them. What was ruined because too many people started doing it? I don't know. I, there's nothing I can think of that like I've been like, this is sweet. Now this sucks because everyone's yeah. doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Moving to Florida. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh, you know, you know what I do miss is um, I was a big. Were you ever into uh, Vine? Like when Vine was a thing, but then mm -hmm. it blew up so much that it got bought out and it got deleted. Who bought it? I want to say Instagram or Facebook. One of them bought it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess it was That's ruined. A, yeah, it In got so sense. popular that it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, interesting. Not too bad. I've had. I have something happening right now too. In my in my place in my bathroom specifically. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so this morning I was I was showering and like I looked up on the wall like above like the shower head. And there's just like there's like little like tiny little sugar ants just like running across the top. And I was like, oh, a little sugar ant. And then I like I looked up more and I was like, oh, there's like a couple of them. I was like, all right, well, fuck these guys. I'm gonna go get some. I went out and bought like some bait, like the liquid bait that you pour and they yeah they come out. The colony comes out, eats it, takes it back, and kills them all. And I went back in there, like, right before we started recording, and there's, like, fucking hundreds, if not thousands of sugar ants <laughs> that are just going to town on this bait, just, like, piled up. Uh, I'll try, okay, I'll try so and it's take working. It. Oh, it's working. So it's, like, one of those that's, like, damn, I just want to, like, just, like, spray them all right now. I'm like, no, 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 just let them do what it's going to yeah. do. And, and Otherwise, and, it's not going to get where it needs to be. Exactly. So, <laughs> like, it's, like, a lot. I'll take a picture when I'm done. Hopefully, it's still crazy, but... Go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. We start a term just for fun, hurrah, hurrah. That's wild. He's, hopefully, it's, hopefully it's not. Uh, well, the more the merrier. That means the more yeah, of them are, <laughs> are eating it and taking it back to the queen. But they're those little, 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 little tiny. I don't know if it's sugar ant or whatever you yeah, call them. Yeah, those little, I, little, I little, 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 little ones. 
That reminds me of uh, when I was in the military. If we used to live in the dorms, we'd have like dorm inspections. And one day I was working and they came over the, the radio and told me to call in. I was like, yeah. Like, how long have you had an ant problem in your room? Uh oh. I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're like, all over your window is like hundreds and hundreds of ants. And I get back to the dorm and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I left that morning and there was no ants. And on the so, windowsill, they're just like fucking everywhere. What was and there was what no were, food what were they out eating? Or yeah. Nothing. Did you just, like spill a monster or something? Like- I don't, I, it was a windowsill. So I don't know if it, maybe it was like rain, you know, when it rains and rains and rains, the bugs work their way inside. I don't know if it was that, but it was, dude, it was so bad. I was like, I, I thought you were going to have something with like a, like one of those camel spiders or something that came out. No, th- this was in America. <laughs> Oh, I thought you said when you were deployed. No, just when I was in the military. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if they have ants in Kuwait. It's just, it's just, <laughs> just, just dirt and sand. Just fucking monsters, yeah. Uh, uh, not a good transition, but I heard the other day uh, something that I didn't believe, and okay. I looked it up, and it turns out it is true. And I don't, I can pull some stuff up, but I don't have anything on hand to read off. Okay. But if you had to guess where, I guess where, where the highest STD rate was, what would you guess? Uh, like nurse, a, nursing homes. Oh, okay. Well, you knew that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a, do you want to explain to me why you know that? I know a lot of random shit, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I have no you idea. You ain't got a why? You've been, you've been making your rounds or? <laughs> I'm the, I'm Just... the one. <laughs> I'm ground zero. <laughs> Gra- Patient graduated X. from, uh, from St. Jude to fucking <laughs> guiding light. Home as quickly as I give, I take away. That's right. <laughs> what, what, their life? <laughs> well, their genitals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I would have guessed like a college or Yeah, that'd be a good guess or, or like um just, like a like a hostel or something like that. Yeah. Mhm. But like why? They get freaky Did it just up start there, with man. one? Yeah, I, I get it, but why all the STDs? Well, if you I mean, it probably because they're so old that they've already had all these life experiences and they already have STDs in their system and their, and their immune spread. system is like expired. <laughs> yeah and where in college maybe it's you know someone who's yeah. going in with still their virginity or you know maybe they've only been with their high school sweetheart or okay but then but you like get is, someone is who's 75 like, years old and they've been through the the grinder so to speak and uh ooh, what kind of that's that's aids grinder <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just, so he says so to speak <laughs> so to speak uh so well here's my other thought um I don't know how they calculate it. Is it like per resident or like per attendee? Because there's like millions of college students. Like there's way, probably way more college students than there are nursing home residents. So if a Mm. smaller number, like there can be more college students with an STD, but if it's more per capita, does that make sense? You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I'm trying to. Like the percentage. So as of 2022, um, reported about 1.2 million people lived in more than 15,000 certified nursing homes in the U.S. How many? 15 million? 1.2 million. And in okay, 2030, and that'll be around 1.8 million. Okay. In fall of 2023, almost 18.1 million students were enrolled in degree-granting colleges. So 18 times more people. I'm sure it's not a low percentage. But the highest percentage, I think, in the nursing homes is just because of they've already so got them have, and they're in, right. you know, they only have a select few people to, you know. Yeah. So it says, according to healthnewshub.org, about 25% of college students have a sexually transmitted infection. So 25%. Let's look be, up this. Be what, like four or something million ish out of the 18%, give or take? Yeah. It says it's Damn. difficult to get exact statistics on the number of nursing home residents with STDs because most health organizations track data by age range, not residency. Oh, so okay. are we just assuming it's nursing homes because the age range? It could be. It's kind of what that sounds like. Hmm. Well, it says STD rates have also increased by 260% from 2008 to 2020 in nursing homes. 
Well, if we were at a bar trivia night, we would have got a point for that <clears> question. <throat> yeah. Well, I was going to conclude that with that's that and no harm done. But it sounds like a lot of harm <laughs> has been done. So we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Agreed. All right. So we were talking yesterday about drafts to do. Yeah. Uh, because it had been a while. And I said, you must be ignoring the white girl draft, huh? And I to said, which I'd... you replied, <laughs> I typically ignore basic white girls. Yeah. <laughs> then I thought, he ain't lying. So I was going to have you blind rank Asian women, and I got stuck on two. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> because you're into the Asians, so I was going to have you rank Asian women. Yeah, but, but got, how'd you get I stuck got, on two? I got Lucy Liu, Sandra O, oh, and then I stopped. And then when I was laying in bed, I was like, oh, Michelle Wee. And I was like, I only got three. What about uh, Tila Tequila? She, she didn't pop up on any of the list. Damn. Any That's of wild. them. She was like the face of MySpace. <sighs> yeah. Back in the day. So instead, <laughs> yeah. uh, in, in honor of... these Indian women. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just, I left, I got out of the realm entirely. Okay. I figured in honor of episode 30 i would have you blind rank these 30s 30s what anything okay so sure the first one is going to be a 30 minute nap five okay (laughs) i don't i don't i don't nap and if i'm falling asleep it's three hours not 30 minutes yeah okay uh the next one i have is 30 seconds to mars i'm actually do you like that's jared leto's band right I don't, I don't know. I think I like him. I think I like one song. I think I know one song. Uh, yeah, that's his band. Okay. Um, I'm going to put him at three. Okay. <clears throat> the next one is Terrell Davis. I don't care about them. four. Who cares about them? <laughs> <laughs> so what? <laughs> uh, the next one is 30 like mile I'm... an hour speed limits. Mm, I feel like I'm getting set up for failure here. Um, I'm going to put it at two in in hopes that number one is at least somewhat redeemable for me if you had to guess what number one was would you have anything i don't want you to do it uh you're not going to be upset i can promise you that okay okay and your last one is going to be 30 packs yeah and to that i will finish this beer number one (laughs) wise it's just which how many we record tonight i got a flight at noon no i meant like i put it at number one Mm. in the draft i thought you were saying that was number one of 30 I don't think I could drink 30 beers in a night anymore. Yeah. So we finished with 30 packs at one, 30 mile an hour speed limits at two, 30 seconds to Mars at three, Terrell Davis at four, and a 30 minute nap at five. Yeah, I'm okay with that. You know, drink a 30 pack, do 30 down the road while listening to 30 seconds to Mars <laughs> while watching the Broncos game, and then taking a nap when I get home. We might have to have a phone call with your mom next if you're drinking a 30 pack and then driving down the street because... uh you going you gonna kill somebody. I don't even think I could make it out of this chair if I drank thirty beers. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just wake up with food and piss all around me. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'd be okay with that. You probably wake up with a lot of ants around you too. Ants and Asian women. Yeah, you'd have you'd have ants in your. Well, I don't know about Asian women, but you'd have ants in your pants. Ants, <laughs> ants in my pants, and Lucy Lou just looking over me, going, "Oh no, 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 no!" no. She, just, she sounds like American. And you also yeah. did like a, yeah, does, a Family yeah. Guy maid accent, not an Asian <laughs> yeah, accent. You're right, I did. <laughs> More lemon <laughs> pledge. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. So we're going to do a draft for the all-time pump-up songs. Another, another confusion I had with this was like, am I, what am I getting pumped up for? Am Don't I matter. Going, okay. It could be you're, you're trying to get pumped up to lift up your record at the gym, you're you're getting pumped up to go run out onto the field at a game. You're getting pumped up to watch highlights of a, your team doing good. You're getting pumped to up watch to watch highlights. Yeah, like, <laughs> I gotta get pumped up for this YouTube like, clip. Well, you know those YouTube clips that like that song plays, and you're like, hell yeah, yeah. But you said get pumped up to watch it, you be like while watching. <laughs> yeah, it? shotgun in a C4, and yeah, you're like, like, like right, I get home go. from work, and I'm like, go. I gotta watch this highlight video, and I'm like taking a crap just playing <laughs> planes. Okay. <laughs> Because I it, like immediately thought like, okay, I'm about to run out onto the field. And then I had just like randomly today when I was trying to think about it, I thought of being in your Jeep driving to coconuts. Yeah, that's good. Like, 
Oh, that's like, like a, a good pregame song. vibe of pump up. Yeah. So I kind of went. Yeah, I'm going more towards. Yeah. Everywhere. Uh, yeah, OK. Yeah. Mine is kind of too. So we'll see. So. so with my first overall pick in the pump up song draft, I'm going with Till I Collapse Eminem. OK. Without I had doubt. that at three on my list. Oh, I think my three is going to be your one. Let's see. I'm intrigued. Well, with my first pick, I'm going with Can't Be Touched yep. by Roy Jones Jr. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> The body yep. headbangers or whatever, whatever that was called. percent, that was my number three, so I'll just delete that. <laughs> okay, with my number two pick in the Pump Up Song draft, I'm going to go away from rap and go with the 300 Violin Orchestra by Jorge Quintero. If, if, you, if you heard it, you'd know it. It's like the... It's in okay. every football highlight video you've ever seen. All right. Well, with my second pick, I'm going to go with We Ready by Archie Eversole. It's on my list. It's not in my top five, but it's on my list. Those are those are the uh, the two that I texted you saying immediately came to mind. OK. Um. Well, in that case, with my third pick i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with remember the name fort minor okay my third pick that's a good one that's a good one well with my third pick i'm gonna go with never scared by bone crusher mm, great one real good real good real 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 good um that's real nice right there all right my fourth pick in this pump up song draft i am gonna take right now by van halen Eddie Van Halen himself. I don't know why, but when you start when you when you started saying that because it's like draft, I thought you were gonna say when you said right now, I thought you were gonna say right tackle. <laughs> <laughs> you said right now, and I was like, what? And with the fourth overall pick, at right tackle. Yeah, yeah, right tackle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Do you, uh, you does that ring any bells? Them. I think it's gonna be another one that, like, once you hear it, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna probably gonna have to hear. It. All ears minus the uh, Fort Minor and Eminem. Okay. Um. Uh, don't take it. Don't take my fifth. I swear to God. I don't. I don't. I don't know that any of mine are on your list. Might be. Not if. Not if you're continuing the path you've been on to righteousness. <laughs> There's one I want to take, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do the other one instead, unless you take it. Okay. What am I on for? Mm-hmm. Well, with my fourth pick, I'm gonna take all the way turned up. Mm -hmm. by roscoe okay um okay so i was gonna go with a rapper but i'm gonna switch gears now that i think about it um because this song actually pumps me up every time it comes on and i'm gonna go with my fifth pick enter sandman metallica okay which could even be higher in other drafts yeah yeah that song is when virginia tech comes out to that song oh it's hard. I don't know it's if our analytics are going to agree with you on that one. But enter Sandman, please. Yeah, that sounds more like a 55 to, no, no, to no, 65. No, 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 no. no. Um, all right. I got, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm trying to think of them all in my head. Which one am I? Uh, I have five left too. Up to, uh, okay. I think, uh, I think I'd rather hear that one. So with my fifth pick, I'm going to go with What You Know by T.I. Mm. <clears throat> okay. So you wouldn't have taken mine then. Which okay. was? Uh, here Comes the Boom, Nelly from The Longest Yard. I, I almost, that was like, that was my honorable mention. Yeah, that's mine too. Like, that was my like, I, I already have enough that I don't think he's going to take all of them. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to put it down. But that, it definitely was definitely there. Um... I also had Eye of the Tiger. I, I knew you had that song. <laughs> um, I had Indestructible, which is a disturbed song. Really good. <clears throat> okay. Um, I had... I thought about Stupefy, but that like... <laughs> I think I'm old now, so it would give me a headache more than, <laughs> more than pump me up. I had Out My Face by Bankroll Mafia. That's a good one. Um, and the last one I had is a Carrie Underwood song. Before He Cheats? Nope. It's featuring Ludacris. I don't think I have anything. The champion? You never heard that song? Uh, I'll be the last one standing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think so my fifth pick. Yeah. 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 Y
remainders, I had uh, Headstrong by Trapped. It's a good one. I had All I Do Is Win. Oh, that's actually a really good one. I had Red and Yellow by Novi. <laughs> okay, so there's your Coconut Joe's uh, inspiration there. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, and then, and then I also had No Sleep by Wiz Khalifa. Oh, okay. That's... Which was the other Coco's. There's, it's not really a song, but there's also, back when I was also working out and going to the gym, there's a, um, like, Ray Lewis greatness speech slash music song thing that he has. It's like a, like a, like a 15 minute, just like, just, just pure, like I could do, I could literally walk on water kind of speech, you know, like you listen to it and you're just like, hell yeah. So it's funny you said Ray Lewis, because I thought about catering to you. And do you remember what Ray Lewis used to listen to on the field before every game? Mm, I don't. Mm -mm. It was Phil Collins. (laughs) What? Like, uh, (laughs) which song? I don't I don't know that there was a specific song. I just heard that he had said every every pregame where he's out there just being big as fuck and he had it was a while ago, so he had like those like wrap around yeah. was probably that. Oh Lord. But I was like, ah, it's I don't know if I want to sacrifice a pick just to just Wait, to cater. This is the best part. Do 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 yeah, well, that was, yeah. Okay. I don't know. If you said a Phil Collins song, I probably would have automatically won this draft. Yeah, unless uh, Ray Lewis was a subscriber. Mm-hmm. You see that? You see that check mark comment? I think uh, I think I'd have taken it. But so, <laughs> hi everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons, or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. I voted, so you sent me that whole list of uh, different ideas for a draft. <clears throat> yeah. And I voted on that because I went through my closet the other day, like an old box from the old house, and it's like a box that had traveled with me from house to house to apartment to dorm to here to there. Random chargers and shit and old laptops and shit? Uh, no, those are, those are in a different box in here. That one's like, just, I don't know, it's just the most random shit. Mm-hmm. But amongst the random shit was uh, a CD case, like old burn CDs. Mm-hmm. And I was like... I just, just recently threw mine away, actually, maybe within the last year. Did you listen to them first? On what? <laughs> so I found them, <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck am I going to do? And I was like, huh. So I, I ordered a external CD drive, because they're like 10 bucks now. Yeah, yeah. But then I went to work the next morning. And I was like, in my center console is a CD player. Ah, uh, like, see, yeah. I don't even have a CD so player went, in my car. Yeah, well, I didn't think I did. So I went back in the house, grabbed the CDs, and on the yep. way to work, it was just doop, doop, like one after the other. And I have a list of, uh, it's a lot of them. I can read them all. I don't know if they'll, they'll all make short form, but uh, of just a bunch of them that were, like, gave me that, like, nostalgic feeling. So that happened, you remember when you gave me back my iPod? Yeah. That I forgot I gave to you? <clears throat> yeah. And then I bought a charger for it. I don't it think and, you gave it to me. I think I just had it. had it. It was like left, left it. somewhere. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that exact same, like I had all my playlists and I was literally just back on the bus in like 10th grade. Just like, oh my God. You were in the back of the bus? Just listening. No, I'm back on the bus. <laughs> It was, it was, I know the uh, feeling, I know the feeling. Cause like you can put yourself every time a song comes on, you can put yourself in a place. Yeah. It's like exactly where I was in the house or in the car mm-hmm. or where on the street I was. Mm-hmm. And yeah. So funny enough, uh, that Archie, we ready song was on there. Yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, you probably know all the artists. So I'll just, to make it quick, I'll, uh, I'll just go through the songs. Okay. So we have, well, maybe not this one. So we have Sean Paul, Give It Up To Me. Mm-hmm. We have Chain Hang Low. <laughs> yeah. Pull, Pulling Me Back by Chingy. Oh, yeah. Teenage Dirtbag. Mm-hmm. Get Low. Mm-hmm. Yeah, obviously. Air Force Ones. Mm-hmm. Raise Up. Mm-hmm. Still Tipping. <laughs> Ribbed in Bopo. <laughs> tipping on Bopo. Bo- 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 <laughs> uh, rubber Band Man. Why, Mr. Taliban? Let's Go. Oh, that's a, that's one of my all time faves, to be honest. That is a good one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have I smell pussy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
uh dmx what's my name mm-hmm. cky 96 quite bitter beings oh uh many okay. men great song uh where did i go young buck black gloves uh blueberry yum yum what Ooh. you know Ooh. shoulder lean how we do grills riding dirty act a fool it's going down stomp by young young buck mm-hmm. 50 cent best friend uh rick ross push it <laughs> randomly i had hips don't lie on one of them uh hustlin g code by the ghetto boys out of control by 50 cent I had Take Me and Last Resort by Papa Roach. Move Bitch, Touch It or Not, Like You by Bow Wow, Can't Be Touched. Uh, Three Six Mafia, Stay Fly, and Jeezy Soul Survivor. So do you think in 20 years, people that are 15, 14, 13, 17, 18, however old we were when we listened to that music, will also have that same effect? Because music has changed so much in one, the quality and then two, the accessibility. So, like, you can't not listen to anything you want at any time anymore. You, that's all you... Goddamn fly. You oh. see that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. They evolved from your house and they came here. Son of a bitch. Ugh. So, but, yeah. So, I was actually thinking about that as I was doing... Because I feel like all of these... So, these CDs are... Because you had to take the time 15, to, to 20 years old. Yeah, build your and CD. I feel like they'd be so much more nostalgic if everything, what, like if I didn't, if I wasn't able to pay five bucks a month for Apple Music and listen well, to anything. And that's the thing is like you had to that day you're going to school with your with your CD player. You had to choose what you wanted. All right, I'm listening to this today and that's all I got. Right. Or even on the car yeah. ride. That's and all that's I got. It. Yeah. As opposed to a shuffle with unlimited music on it. Right. It's just, there's not that same, I feel like there's not that same connection between them. Yeah, probably not. And to put it in perspective, hold on, I think I, I got them right here. So I don't know, A, if your monitor's on, and B, how clear it comes, but... Yeah, I got you. Like, can you, you know what this is supposed to look like? You see how yellowed that is? Oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. this thing is old. Mm-hmm. Well, all of mine still had, I'm surprised yours doesn't different colored sharpies of what the name of the cd was or who's on it or now you also had those like oh it's that design cd i know it's on that but a lot of mine were just yeah. like like just the memorex so just the white one all over them well i have one here that has some sharpie on it and i was uh i think it's something i'm gonna hold over your head for a little while okay god i would spend hours on the computer in front of limewire with a stack of blank cds and just just make stuff well it's only about three minutes worth of audio on here uh it's probably the last remaining of the forgotten archives but i don't know how it is here i'm i'm coming in on your screen says king might oh boy you better you better download that and send it immediately Uh, think I'm gonna hold that one over you for a little while. Well, when I come there in September, I'm it's you're downloading it's, it and it's going on my phone and we're sending well, it. Well, it's it's to, already it's already been ripped from oh you have this, the digital uh, external CDD CD drive that I bought and it's now an MP3 on my computer. You couldn't have found this before your wedding, damn it. No, dude, that box hasn't been opened. Dude, and Jenna and I tried so hard to find that, and we were gonna have Donnie play gone. something. I dude, it's gone. It's damn. that's literally it. I might be able to go, well, no, because I don't even know if they were there. I can check when I go to Maryland if I have, like, a, a computer in Mom's attic. I can try yanking the hard drive. Well, but. I did when, I, when Mom and I were planning my trip up there in October. She was like, and we need to go through your closet. And I was like, okay. I have no idea yeah. what I'm going to find in there. Well, if you, if you find some, some King Dave best uh, hits. Dude, I don't know what's going to be in there. It might, Holly's mm. dead body might be in there. I don't know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think last episode you said that was a story for a different episode. Oh yeah, like how I found her. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Um, we had some friends down in Annapolis um, for a boat day. They come, came from Westminster, like childhood friends, like the whole family. They came down and went out on the boat, had a good time, and we came back. And I was the first one to walk in. And you know how you walk in through my garage, and then that's the um, washer and dryer. Right there, mudroom, whatever you want to call it. And then you enter into the kitchen living room. Yeah. And as soon as I walked in to the left in the living room, Holly was just laying there in a pile of puke in front of her. And I was like, oh. So I walked over to her and I like, like nudged her, my foot. 
and she was <laughs> hey, wake up. <laughs> and she was as stiff as a you know rigor mortis had set in. So I walk okay. back outside. They're all still unloading the car. Like no one had to come come in yet. I think I had to go to the bathroom or something. I don't know. And I was like, hey, uh, um, Holly's dead in there. Like I just kind of said it like just like pulled off the band aid. Like yeah, hey, it's, yeah, it's not really a way to uh. So yeah. we uh, scooped her up into a trash bag, and um, we actually she's actually buried out back, and she has a little plaque in the ground and everything, like a like a headstone kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, but it's like flat, like with the ground. It's not like it's just like yeah. a little piece that's like sitting flush with the ground. Sounds expensive. Rest in peace of that. Out of mean old cat stick in the ground. Oof, that mean old cat. You know the only person she liked was Jamie. Yeah, she loved Jamie she really loved was licking his cold Budweiser cans. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so she didn't love Jamie, right. but he was also she loved the king of beers. He, it was also one of those, like, you know, he's, Oh, I can't stand that cat, whatever. But then you'd like walk in. He didn't think you were going to walk in. He's sitting there like petting the cat. And yeah, he, I don't think he's ever seen the movie holes, but he always called her Mr. Sir, she, sir, Mr. Sir. She looked like a dude. I don't know. <laughs> That's just what he always called her. <laughs> we'll have to talk about it huh. in October when, we, yeah, when we, uh, when we, when we have him on. Like, hey, what do you think? What, what, what true thoughts on Holly? <laughs> I could just say, let me tell you about this cat. <laughs> He's like, well, first off, let's get the story straight. <laughs> Spoken like a true uh, lawyer. Chris, Christopher's mother wanted that cat. First of all, <laughs> I signed on because you know, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> you know what i think that's the answer we're gonna get i'm excited for that though that'll be a fun yeah. episode yeah that's good so would you rather be married to the hottest girl in the world but she's always on her period or be a millionaire but have to use single ply toilet paper for the rest of your life are we talking how many millionaire millions in the air like could i, I have, have like 900 million or like 1 million Nah, just you know a couple million like you're not ranking high but you can buy anything you want that's not like i was just know. curious i'd still go with the single ply millionaire yeah yeah because then i could still God, find that's... a really hot wife that's not on her period all the time yeah Ooh, you should deploy for six months <laughs> that single ply toilet paper ain't it <laughs> okay, I, got, I got it at work man trust me i know yeah dude mm. well you also shit like once a day so i get it and i'd say 80 percent of my uh my launches are clean launches. Like it, there's not typically a lot of uh, shrapnel. But if you're a millionaire, you'd probably be eating a lot more. Like I don't know, going out and like having chefs cook for you, like shit that your body's like, whoa, what the fuck is this? Or like, I'm a millionaire, so I have a tonight. personal chef and a personal trainer, and they have all these nice, healthy meals yeah. prepped. And who knows? Who knows? Mm. Or I'd be now. Nah, I probably wouldn't now because I'd be because I like cooking. So I'd just be out on my ranch and. All right, I'm going to go shoot my gun off the porch and make me some some chili for dinner. Mm-hmm. Ride my horse. You all right, girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Would you rather be stuck in a rom-com with your enemies or in a horror movie with your friends? Oh, horror movie with my friends. Yeah. Might not make it out. That's yeah, fine. Because there's so many plot holes in horror movies, I feel like I could survive. And I know which one of my friends I could, like, outlive. Sacrifice? Outlive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just got to run faster than this guy. Yeah, yeah. Or just play to their their weaknesses and know what would work and what wouldn't. Mm. Ooh, piece of candy. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Would you rather always have to say everything on your mind or never be able to speak again? Mm, Never speak again. (laughs) I feel like that says a lot about you (laughs) as a person. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) yeah. Uh, I could just see you at work like... Will this old motherfucker just die? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many times I have to tell people. <laughs> now you got to turn your card around because they put their they put it in with oh, the chip yeah. facing out. If I had a nickel, David, man, I'd be retired. You'd be a millionaire using <laughs> single plot toilet paper. That's right. <laughs> all right well, that's all I got. No, that's good. That's good. I will have to say I'm I'm very intrigued about this. Uh, fucking category thing no, it's not it's either? nothing crazy um i just didn't want to have all the categories and make it seem like it's one-sided affair that way we both can come with different categories and kind of both be thinking on our toes so the game is still in was i supposed to research any of these no categories? no 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 nothing at all so um so the game is going to be um 
one of us will name a category and then we have to debate over who could name more and how many you can name specifically how many you can name within 30 seconds and then you have to do it huh okay how many how many do you have um one two three four five six. i have seven. Oh, i have six okay um do you want to do one first pick a category first or i'll pick one first like pick one for me for both of us be, you're gonna say oh, i could do six and i'd be like yeah but i could do seven and you go yeah i could probably do eight and i go oh, i could do nine i saw this on a game show yeah that's where i got it okay that's good um well i'll be completely honest with you after i center myself mm-hmm. uh the first category i had was numbers <laughs> 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 so i have so, so maybe i'll skip maybe i have five categories okay I also have one with numbers, but not just numbers. And the reason I went with the, I almost went with letters too, <laughs> but I was like, you know what? This is probably going to be like, like he's going to ask me to name as many as I can. Yeah. So yeah, let yeah. me like Let's not figure put something like out. countries or some shit. Yeah. But well, I feel right. like we know all the same shit. So you're going to know a lot of the same shit. Yeah. And so. I went with a lot more general. It's not like very specific stuff. I'll know, or you'll know. It's just very general categories okay. well we'll skip numbers then and uh okay i have eminem songs oh you definitely have me there um do i have to start or do you start i'll start so whoever let's say whoever gives the category goes second i'm gonna say their first guess the other person gives their first guess okay so you give your guess yeah uh probably not a lot i'm gonna say like six. Oh, okay i was going with like 20 in 30 seconds i forgot about that uh -huh. um so what what happens what makes me have to do it um if you don't you gotta like whoever says they can do it higher has to do it yes correct okay uh then i'll go seven seven m&ms yeah i can't do it so i'm gonna start my timer ready set go till i collapse the real some shady Godzilla, Not Afraid, Mockingbird, Kill Shot, Cleaning Out My Closet. Oh, yeah, I could have done that. The Way I Am. No, you're good. Superman, My Name Is. Should I keep going or are we good? How can I hear How many stuff? You're like hear nine stuff? or ten. What do you hear? Ants? <laughs> I can't tell if it's like people talking to each other or if it's like a radio outside. I don't know. Something loud. My ass Reddit was almost... uh. What do you, what do you tell, or what can I say to my neighbor who I always hear having sex? Or like, what should I do if I always hear my neighbor having sex or something like that? I'd say, hey, give him a thumbs up and like a wink. Uh, one of them was like, when you hear him stop just as loud as you can, yell, finish her. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I couldn't find the thread again, so I went with it. But. All right. So since you did it, I'll just take a drink of my beer. We'll call that the uh, punishment. Uh, I don't know if I like that. And if you didn't do it, you'd have to drink your beer. Isn't that the point of this podcast? Anyways, yeah, you know. All right, I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with prime numbers. In 30 seconds, remember. 10. Uh, I'm gonna say I can do 11. Ooh. I'll go 12. I think I'm capping out there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let you do that. Okay. And begin. Three, one, five, seven. 11, 17, 19, 23, 27, 37, 111, uh, 1, 500,011. 2,500,011, 3,500,011. So you said you're 12th at 31 seconds. Mm. You also skipped like 13 and 31. No, I said 13. No, you went straight to 17. You said 11, 17. Mm. You're real close though. I like how you know you're fact checking me. Are, were all those millions even right? Let's see, you said 1,500,011? Yeah. I know if you name any really, 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 really big number, I can tell you if three can be divided into it. That's all I got for you, though. Were you looking it up? No. 
But give me, uh, a, give me, give me a really, really, is, really big number. Rant, any on, random one number. Million, uh, like hundreds 11 of eleven quadrillion. No, 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 no. Like, like, stay below a billion, just so I don't have to okay. type all these numbers. One hundred and eleven million, one hundred and eleven thousand, one hundred and eleven. Oh yeah, obviously three goes into that. No, it doesn't. Three doesn't go into eleven. Go ahead, divide that 111 million, 111,000, 111, divide it by three. You, you'll get an answer. What's the answer? I don't know. Well, you could divide anything by anything. No, but you'll, you won't get a decimal. You'll, it'll, it'll just be a number. Uh, so it's not. My a, one millions weren't prime numbers. So what did I say? One, 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 divided by three. Uh, yeah, you're right. Three, seven, zero, three, seven, zero, three, seven. There you go. Mm, interesting. So if you take any big number, let's say 4,567,932 and just add all the digits together. So 9, 15, 22, 31, 34, 35, 36, and three can go into 36. So three can go into that big number. Wait, say that again? Because 36 makes sense, but I just figured because it can't go into 11. So 111, 111, 111. All added together is nine, and three can go into nine. That's almost like that percentages backward thing. Totally. That thing. You did that. <laughs> I think I told somebody this once, and they like said a huge number, and they were like, does it go into that? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and they were like, oh, wait. wait. <laughs> it, it is. I... <laughs> wait, you said the? I, like, the I was thing? like, hey, hey, name a big number, and, uh, and I'll tell you if three can go into that. And so they said, and I was like, yeah, I can. And they were like, uh, Dumbfounded. <laughs> like no, no, they were more like, is that it? Like I'm just gonna say yes. Oh. Like <laughs> Oh well, yeah, that's yes or no. That reminds me of a time that I went me and Jenna went to a gra fucking grandma took us to a wrestling event. Yeah. Like a WWF wrestling event. And we get there, it has started at like seven thirty or something like that. And it was like creeping up on seven thirty. And uh I looked to this I was dude, I was like like ten or eleven or and I looked to this guy next to me. I'm like, excuse me, sir, do you have the time? And he goes Yep. Damn, what a dick. I'm like, he ended up telling me, but I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right, so my next category mm -hmm. is places that you could witness a crime. I could be anywhere. I could, I'm going to say 20. I was going to say 20 in 30 seconds, though. Mm -hmm. I'll let you do it. I feel like I've, I've gone both of them. Do you have something like stop clock? Something you can... Stopwatch. Okay. All right. Ready? Mm hmm And go. In this chair, on my couch, in my bedroom, on my toilet, in my driver's seat of my car, passenger seat of my car, back seat of my car, standing on my porch, no, uh, standing let's, at let's, work. Let's, let's let's stop. Let's stop. I could witness I, I, anywhere. A, what are you going to witness from your chair? Someone breaking and, into my house. And this isn't... So the question is more like a place. So like your apartment would be one. Hmm. Well, you didn't specify, so. Well, I'm specifying. All right. Now. All right. Well, then I, I can still do 20, I think. Okay. Ready? Mm hmm. Go. Uh, Melbourne, Tampa, Miami, Orlando, no. Tallahassee. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, motherfucker? Like bank or like a convenience store. I think all of my answers were legitimate because there's banks and convenience stores in all those cities. Can you do 20 or not, motherfucker? Hmm. No, I don't think you could either. Okay. You want to try me? Go. Bank. Convenience store. Parking lot. Mall. Club. Gas station. Park. Subway. Subway station. Airport. Hotel. Grocery store. Alleyway. Beach. <laughs> concert venue. Hotel. School. Work. Movie theater, apartment complex, house. Oh, you got gas it. station with one second to spare. It. Yeah, I think you repeated a couple, but I'm not sure. I know I said uh, subway and subway station. <laughs> uh, that's all I got. I don't know. We can fact check me. I'll drink anyway. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'll drink too. <laughs> all right. How uh, about um? Let's go with. Let's go with uh. Currencies. Da, 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 da. Three. I could do four. Five. That's pushing it. All right. I'm going to say six, but that's also pushing it. It's all, <laughs> it's all you. All right. Let me know. All right. Ready? Yeah. Go. 
uh, dollar, uh, the euro, the pound, uh, ruple, the dong, and the yen. Oh, that was easy. Okay. You said six. Yeah. No, six. That was five. No, was six. Got my hands right here, or my fingers right here. Dollar, pound, euro, Ruple. dong, ruple, yen. And ruple. And six. Yen. The dong. Okay. Dong. The dong, the dong, dong, dong. The fuck is a ruple? Uh, it's Indian. We got Nicole Ruple from Lynn University. A rupee. Is it rupee? That's from Zelda, dumbass. No, it's ruple. India currency. It is, it is a, a rupee. rupee. So Zelda stole it? <laughs> it was stolen. <laughs> I wonder, do they do the same thing as, as Zelda? Like the, uh, like the red ones are worth one and the gr- blue ones are worth two and the green ones are. And when they're about to be robbed, you hear a watch out. <laughs> hey, listen, hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I guess I got a, maybe a, a P in me. I do have a P in me too. And then go look at the ants. <laughs> Did we make it through it? Were they were they still doing all right? Yeah. So part of the um the liquid bait had like dripped down the wall. So like earlier today they were all just lined up on that and on top where I'd put it, like on like the trim of the shower. Um mm-hmm. there's still some coming up and down, but the trim is still like at the top is like you would think it's just like a big pile of dust or something. And you get close and it's just a bunch of ants. All right. Let's go with the teams. So how these MLB teams got their name, the AL East. We'll start off with the Baltimore Orioles. The Baltimore Orioles got their... Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to guess how the Orioles got their name? Sorry. I don't want to guess. I want to answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. It's the state bird. I mean, that's basically it. Yeah. The state bird. Well, read, me, read me the real thing. Um, Is there like a... Yeah, I got a, a, a typed out answer for you. So the Baltimore Orioles got their name from a historical connection to the city. And the state of Maryland, the name Orioles comes from the Baltimore Oriole, a small black and orange bird that is native to the eastern United States and is a state bird of Maryland. So there you go. The bird was so, named why? after George Calvert, Lord Baltimore, whose family crest featured similar colors. The, the bird was named after him? Yes. After who? George Calvert, Lord Baltimore. Okay, I didn't hear Oriole anywhere in that name. His family crest featured similar colors. How they came up with the word Oriole is a great question. <laughs> Roger that. Um, next we have the New York Yankees. Any guesses on the Yankees? Uh, well, what's above Maryland? Pennsylvania. And what's above that? New York. <laughs> so I mean, they're they're from Yankee Town. I don't. Was there like a? So the whole North and South thing is from the Civil War, right? Yep, I'd say that's a good, uh, yep. And anything above the Mason-Dixon line was the North, mm-hmm. which were nicknamed Yankees. Mm-hmm. And what would the similar name be for the South? Johnny Reb. Fucking retards. Uh, wait, what'd you say? Johnny Reb. That's one guy. Rebels. Oh, the Re- Okay, so the Rebels and the Yankees. So was there like a larger... I'm going to go with maybe New York always had like the larger population. So mm. that was like where most of the Yankees lived. Okay, okay. That's the best I can give you. I don't know. So I'm the, a rebel. So the New York Yankees got their name through a series of transitions from earlier team names and locations. The r- franchise originally started in 1901 as the Baltimore Orioles. No connection to the current Baltimore Orioles, <laughs> one of the eight no, charter no, no, franchises whatsoever. of the American League. In 1903, the team moved to New York, was initially called the New York Highlanders. A name derived from their home field, Hilltop Park, which was located on one of the highest points in Manhattan. The name Highlanders also had a connection to the team's first president, Joseph Gordon, who had ties to the British military unit called the Gordon Highlanders. However, the name Yankees was also used informally by the media and fans from earlier on. By 1913, the team officially adopted the name New York Yankees as it was simpler more American and easier to fit in newspaper headlines. The name has stuck ever since, and Yankees have become one of the most iconic teams in sports history. Uh, so when did this uh, George Calvert guy, when was he relevant? If I had to guess, 1700s? It's just very bizarre to me out of all. First Baron of Baltimore, George Calvert. I'm calling bullshit on the fact that 
There's no relation whatsoever to the current Baltimore Orioles. He is 1604 to, oh no, 1579 to 1632. 15? Mm-hmm. 1579 to 1632. Hmm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, how are you the Baltimore Orioles and you're going to say, oh, there's no relation to the current Baltimore Orioles? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't have anything about the Orioles on this article here. Because that was in 1901, where the Baltimore Orioles was established in 1954. The current Baltimore Orioles. Yeah, but to say it has not... I understand if the franchises have no relation. But well, they were the first one to said, have it. The Yankees but were. But it said the name has no relation, right? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. How about their rival, the Boston Red Sox? How'd they get their name? I'd venture to say they wore red socks. Hmm. That's a good guess. <laughs> <laughs> So the Boston Red Sox got their name as part of a trend in early 20th century baseball to adopt colorful and distinctive team names. Franchise was established in 1901 as one of the original teams of the American League, initially known simply as the Boston Americans or Boston American League team. <laughs> Sounds like Washington, Washington football mm-hmm. team. Yeah. <laughs> in 1907, team owner John I. Taylor decided to adopt an official team name choosing Red Sox, originally spelled S O C K S. This name was a nod to the traditional red stockings worn by the team. There you go. The choice was inspired by earlier so, Boston teams in the 19th century. The Boston Red Stockings, who eventually became the Atlanta Braves, were one of the most successful say, baseball teams. The, right, yeah. Okay. And then the spelling was later shortened to S O X, which was a common stylistic choice at the time, similar to how the Chicago White Stockings were shortened to the White Sox. The name Red Sox has been the team's identity ever since. Hmm. Okay, let's. I mean, you got it. They they went. Okay, they wore red yeah. s- stockings slash socks. That's that's it. Um, let's go up into into old Canada. How do you think Toronto Blue Jays got their name? Ah, uh, it's the province bird. Hmm. Nice uh, knowledge on provinces. There you go. <laughs> I'm here for you. I can't provide much, but so the Toronto Blue Jays got their name through a fan contest held by the team's ownership group. When Toronto was awarded a Major League Baseball expansion franchise in 1976, the team owners, Labatt Brewing Company, wanted to involve the public in choosing the name. Over 30,000 entries were submitted, and the name Blue Jay was ultimately selected. For color association, the name fit well with the team's color scheme, which was primarily blue. This also tied in with the branding of Labatt. Uh, Bird connection, like the Baltimore Orioles, St. Louis Cardinals, Blue Jays had a natural app. Uh, athletic connotation, Canadian identity, the Blue Jays, a bird native to Canada, making it a fitting choice. And the name Toronto Blue Jays was officially announced on August 12th, 1976. 76. That's okay. So I got to look something up here. Okay. So that makes sense. I didn't, I didn't realize that they were so late. So I didn't know if they were named after or before because Labatt's, I was going to include this. So Labatt, they're like signature beer is Labatt Blue. Yeah. Like that's what it's called. So I didn't know if they went with the Blue Jays as like a nod to that or if the Blue Jays, like if Labatt had other beers. I should have finished like, well, reading the Blue it because it says it's also tied in with a branding of Labatt's flagship beer, Labatt Blue. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I only know about Labatt's because that's what dad drinks. That's like the, uh, that's like the Bud Light of Canada. Mm-hmm. They also have so. apparently really delicious ketchup chips that I've never had before in Canada. That's like their most famous like chip. Like Labatt's or just? Uh, Lay's. Oh, just Canada in general. Mm-hmm. It's like a ketchup. <laughs> they got good moose too. <laughs> Meeson. Yeah, they had a. Meeson. Uh, that was a Meeson. Has some ketchup chips. I've heard they're good. <clears throat> you have to text so Kyle. What's his name? Was that his name? Kyle? This, the black guy? No, our Canadian dude. Oh. I was hammered, dude. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I ain't got that motherfucker's number. I think I want to pay roaming charges. <laughs> uh, all right. How about uh, the last one? The Tampa Bay Rays, formerly the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Um, I feel like I looked this up when I went to the game because I know why they changed it. Mm-hmm. Well, that's part of the answer. How about Devil how Rays? They, I don't. Yeah, I don't know how they came upon the Devil Rays. Okay, so what about the why they changed it? Uh, because it was a different type of 
stingray native to the area and they also wanted to incorporate the florida sun sunshine state aspect and the sun rays so they just went with rays nice okay so but i don't know the devil rays thing the tampa bay rays got their name through a process that reflected both the local geography i get it reflected uh-huh. like the sun rays <laughs> and the team's okay, evolution sorry. over time so initial name tampa bay devil rays uh when tampa bay was awarded a major league team in 1995, the team was originally named the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. The name Devil Rays was chosen in reference to the manta ray, a sea creature common to the waters around Tampa. The name also symbolized the team's connection to the marine environment of the Gulf Coast. Now rebranded it to the Rays in 2008, the team decided to rebrand itself as the Tampa Bay Rays. The ownership wanted to shift the team's image and focus more on a positive, broader identity. The word rays was retained, but it was now intended to represent the rays of sunshine that are a defining characteristic of Florida known as the Sunshine State. This rebranding also coincided with the team's emergence as a competitive force in MLB. So the simplified name rays allowed the team to maintain their connection to the original identity, but also adapting a more versatile and positive image. Since the change, the rays have become known for their innovative approaches and consistent success on the field. Not just not this year. So, two things. Another thing I remembered that was part of the reason they changed their name is because the Catholic community had, per usual, voiced their input on the oh, name devil. devil rays. Mm. And then also I remember seeing when I was looking it up, uh, I'd guess within the next couple of years, they're going to be the St. Petersburg rays. You think? That's what it said, because they're not in Tampa. Yeah, but they're also building them a brand new spanking stadium. Isn't that in Tampa? It's in St. Pete, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah, well, you also got the Washington Redskins. Well. You got the Miami Dolphins that aren't in Miami. Well, they're in Miami Gardens, so it's still. <laughs> but, I mean, well, you want to go down that path, you got the Dallas Cowboys who yep. play in Arlington. That's and right. Prior played in Irving. That's right. You got the New York Jets and Giants they play even in that state. They're in New Jersey. Yeah. Like, that whole division's just fucked. Where's Philly? Philly is not Philly. New England's just a region. It's not even a place. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Call them the American Patriots. Isn't um, bucks. the Rams don't play in Los Angeles. They play in, um, uh, what's that? I think it's, yeah, it's a, um, oh, what's the name of the neighborhood they're in then? It's like, it's not Compton, but it's like one of those not great. Carrollwood? Oh, it's Inglewood, right? Inglewood. I know it's, it was a wood. Yeah, yeah, it's Inglewood. No, so is Inglewood technically Los Angeles? Uh, or is it Inglewood? Let's see. Or is that just the name of the neighborhood? Uh, there's so many links. Uh, let's see. It's, uh, so LA popped up, but I don't know if that was... Uh... Well, here, I'll tell you what. If I go to maps.google.com mm-hmm. and type in... I literally just looked at it. What's the stadium called? Uh, SoFi. SoFi, yeah. SoFi <sighs> Stadium. It says Englewood, California. But if I zoom out... So they're not LA proper. But like a suburb, it looks like. Okay. I mean, that's okay. It's it's definitely better than like Landover, Maryland yeah. for the Washington so like Redskins. If, if Melbourne was like a major U.S. city and a team played in Palm Bay and they were called Melbourne. Yeah. That's what, that's what it looks like. Yeah. So that makes sense. So do you think men know more about women or women know more about men? Um, I think... Both think they know more, but neither actually does. Well, one has to. That's kind of the way it works. What if they both don't? They just think they do. Well, one knows more about the other than the other does about it. Hmm. I would say that men know more about women, but not in a, like, not trying to be biased or sexist, but in uh, women typically are much more emotions on their sleeve and, and, not afraid to express or do anything whereas men aren't so you really don't know what the hell's going on up there right i think you're thinking to face value okay so if i said what are we like, talking uh, about like what age do girls get their period oh well they mature earlier than boys definitely no i'm just do you know that answer anywhere from <laughs> It's eight to twenty four. <laughs> I was gonna say like like ten to thirteen ish ish. Okay. I don't think that's right. I think it's more of like a thirteen to sixteen ish. Okay. Or yeah. 
But so that's that's kind of what I'm going well, for. Do though. girls so know? Like, do women know when guys get their first boner? I don't think I do. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I mean, it's not as a memorable experience. As yeah, bleeding. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to go to the store and buy like dick packs. Or no, you just got to hide anything. yourself in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. and... <laughs> but it's but it's funny you brought that up because that's what made me think about it. Is that Kayla thought that we woke up every morning with a boner, like. It was it's just, just like part of being a guy waking up. Yeah, like you're up and you're like, oh, there it is. <laughs> so it made me think, I was like, you know, there's so much that we don't know about women. But when she said that, I'm like, maybe there's so much we don't know about them. Yeah. Not like, um, a, not like a emotion feelings. Like I can tell when you're I remember seeing this thing about kind of thing. like they, they hooked up this hose to a girl and was like, all right, you're going to go pee like a guy does. Hooked like up that, a hose? Like a hose, like it was like her, her penis, like to go pee. Like a funnel. No, like like a hose with like running water coming out of it. So she had to hold on to it. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. So then she I, had she had to do yep. the like she had to like adjust herself because she didn't know where it was coming out right away. Right. And then at the end she had to oh crap I got to scoop forward and then shake it and and she's like oh I didn't know boys had to do that I thought they just sh- shot a hose straight down the middle and this and this and but at the same time what are you doing if you're a chick like remember when you just sit we did that I think it was the ask Reddit when you I sit was and like, wipe uh, and have a good day maybe i think we did an ask reddit where it was like if you woke up the opposite sex what's the first thing you're doing the first thing you're doing oh yeah it was play with my boobs yeah Mm -hmm. well a lot of them were figure out how to pee not for a girl i think that's pretty self-explanatory sit down pee and then wipe and have a good day you can't you can't aim like can't aim your shit either (laughs) you just sit down and go and wipe and everybody should that like you guys you guys have the same practice regimen for that they also don't know that there's like urinal etiquette they don't know about that yeah but we don't know about women's bathroom etiquette well, they're all stalls so i mean yeah but like you don't go to the bathroom alone like if you're a girl like we got to go talk about whatever mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um i feel like it's such a deep like i'm trying to think of specifics like, now oh. like facial hair is there something in that like trimming or shaving or so, is there something maintaining in it? like for like that they wouldn't know I don't see why they got like, yeah. Like how does getting waxed work? They probably shave more than guys do, to be honest. Yeah. Like, how often do you have to get waxed? If you get like, I'm um, to think there's so many things. Uh, so who knows more about each, the other? Then is your question. I think it's pretty yeah, equal. Like, I think there's so many yeah. little details that are like the broad stuff. Each knows like the the very basic stuff but then when you get into the like, mi- okay you gotta stand i gotta sit but once we get there it's like <laughs> but the minute details fuck. of <laughs> all right i'm almost done peeing i gotta get closer to the toilet or you know right vice versa or for me you're dude you gotta like you gotta like hit the snap and then you gotta like do the little jiggy well i'm also else, like you put it in your pants and it's you're gonna leak more everywhere uh-huh like what I, issue do girls have i also I'm like six foot tall, right? And the toilet I have here is kind of a lower toilet in my house is like kind of lower. So when it comes to peeing from standing, being a six foot person, (laughs) peeing into a smaller toilet, there is like I have next in like the bottom corner, like behind the toilet where you have your like your brush, your typical like brush and like, you know, like your plunger sitting there is also just like a toilet cleaner, like spray because I have so much splashback splatterback. And splatterback and i can't help it it's not like i'm trying to do it but that's yeah, when this on the side of the bowl that's when they think well it really don't matter i it's there's so much gravity happening <laughs> that it's like i think there's the same amount happening for all of us no nah, man my knees like when i go to poop my knees are like up to like my stomach <laughs> yeah i get so you have like a built-in squatty potty yeah it's like yeah it kind of is and there's ants mm. running around now <laughs> interesting i'm gonna say well, it's equal okay uh one thing they don't know about is drinking beer that's a lie i've seen I'm yeah i was gonna wait a minute what are you drinking <laughs> oh well this week from you guessed it hidden springs ales work yeah. <laughs> that's two weeks in a row you don't know how to fucking say this shit that's right you guessed it this week from hidden springs <laughs> ale works <laughs> how the fuck you ain't ran out of beer yet is i have blurred limes touche a so this is a key lime pie inspired sour ale with a cool little little can there with the key lime pie on it and stuff and things i like it i like it um yeah out of tampa 
for the Out eighth time because I think this is like my eighth one of these I've had. Great. This is definitely my favorite brewing company in the country right now. I'm going to, I'll, I'll add it up, but I'd bet money on it's more than eight. It's a lot and it's so good. All right, here we go. I like the uh, pause for effect when that's beer number three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go like i've been drinking it for an hour this, and a half <laughs> this this late of the episode it's not a miller or a, an ultra so it's miller who's drinking miller? Uh, yeah i don't know make, make a that shot i've been drinking bitch i'll be honest it is everything you want and something that says it's a key lime pie ale like sour ale it's got the tartness of the lime just like when you're eating the pie it's really good if you're into key lime i don't know if you are or not i love key lime stuff um it's like the keys in general. I don't know if I can do it, but I might. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You it's gonna make it three? It's really good. It's really good. Um, because it's got like that little. It's it's like a piece of pie. Like it's got a little bit of vanilla to it. Like, here, let me let me try it again. I haven't tried it enough yet. Okay. <laughs> I could drink it for a long. Um, I'm gonna give it a nine. Nine out of ten. It's That's really three. good. That's three. That's three, three and three. two of them are from Hidden Springs. No, I think that's three Hidden Springs. I think last episode you said that's three from, or two from them. No, I didn't have one last episode. Whenever you did it, you said it. I don't know. So three from them and then the one that's not. So, okay. Which was from, do you remember? It was that, 1, points. It was that vanilla bourbon 1, 000, ale. I, I did it before you snapped the ball. What? I said 10,000 10, points and then your face looked like you were going to get it. So I said 1,000 points oh. before you actually said. I don't know by who, but I know what it was. It was that vanilla bourbon. Hey, it's Lexington yeah. Brewing Company. That's exactly who it is. That whole, yeah. that you're all right, girl. Back. You're all right, right, girl. Tell me about your fruit punch you're drinking over there. Well, so for my wife's birthday, we uh, went to downtown St. Pete. Wait, you're married? And yep. <laughs> <laughs> Still there. <laughs> Uh, we brewery hopped. Brewery, hopped. I got a got a few. Uh, but the last place we ended up was Pinellas Ale Works. Okay, and they are dog themed. Okay, so the Pinellas Ale Works says paws, and their logo is a dog paw. Yeah, but what is Pinellas? You could have came up with any other word that begins with a P. It's the county. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So I got like five. So the next few episodes are going <laughs> to they're going to be a uh, from riddled. Pinellas Air Work Air yeah. Works. But this one in particular is called Doggy Paddle. Mm -hmm. It's a strawberry lemonade shandy. Ooh, I don't know if you can see a little guy, <laughs> I can and see him. There's their there's their logo. I like it. Pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty much as you would expect a uh, strawberry lemonade shandy. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. It's very good. It's not the color, I would think. I mean, I guess strawberry, but that's really yeah, vibrant. The super red. Super red. Um, I think I'd give it a... Uh, it's out of St. Pete, just like the Tampa Bay Rays. I think I'd give it an 8-8. Eight, eight. It's like almost... It's delicious. It's but not super quite solid. That, uh, like, it's really good. Yeah. I'd, yeah. I wish I had more than one left. Mm. It's not quite that uh, Saga Tuck blueberry lemonade shandy. But it's good. But it's good. It's good. Um, and it says right here, Bucky Sports Kids. Sons of bitches, get a life. That's what I got. <laughs> That's what they don't got. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, you need to say one thing to keep a streak going. Da, oh, da, wait. Da, you might have been da, setting me up. Da, 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 da. Oh, fuck. Da, Missed opportunity. Earlier when I was talking about the deaths, do you remember what kind of deaths they were? Um, bizarre and interesting. Do, 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 do. <laughs> how did we oh, miss that? How did we miss that? I don't know. I'm surprised. That's I, like seven I didn't, in a row. Even not realizing that, I'm surprised I didn't go. Damn, how bizarre. Yeah. Do, 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 damn. Do. Damn, damn. Maybe she'll be the first female president. He said, what flag is it? <laughs> the first female president? Because that's not happening this year, so maybe she'll be the one. Well, they said Hillary was going to be the first F president. She's F'd up. Uh, I meant female. I just forgot the email. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
See, I can tell when Kayla no, thinks something's really funny because she because she laughs at everything. But I know when she, she thinks something's you know, really yeah. funny. You, you know when you're getting a she's uh-huh. very bad poker face, uh, mm-hmm. very very bad courtesy. So I could say I could say poop and she'd be like ah oh, ha ha. Yeah. But then she say something like that and she you know it's funny. <laughs> How have I not said that to you before? <laughs> 